What is going on guys? My name is Will Sickness and welcome everybody to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you the best OBS settings for 2021 coming into 2022. So as you can see, we've got a duck on my wallpaper because why not? But we're going to go straight into OBS. And as you can see, here is the program. So the settings that we are going to be using is every single video that I shoot on my YouTube channel to do with gaming. That is the quality that you will be getting out of it. It's absolutely amazing. I also do record in 1080p and then upscale to 1440p because then you get better bitrate controls. But this is for 1080p recording, but you can do this on literally any recording like 720p, 480p, 1080p, 4K, 8K, 16K, whatever you you want as long as your computer can handle it so first of all you've got to go down there where it says settings and it'll bring up this little thing so for the general tab really just keep it how it is i only change your theme just so it looks different but if you just want to see everything else i have done I have literally changed nothing about it. Stream, obviously when it's streaming, this is a recording settings. So we're gonna go straight to output, ignore the streaming tab and go to the recording. So as you see, stuff is blacked out because obviously I'm currently recording using OBS, but uh, the recording path, I literally did it to my D drive and then I set up like different folders. So YouTube recordings, OBS. So basically it's because you don't wanna be recording on your like OS drive otherwise that's going to get full very very quickly as most people only have small SSDs. Reason why I use MP4 is because it's a very stable format never has crashed on me and I've never heard of anybody crashing before an MP4. So audio track just because I record basically every single tiny track of mine because I split all of my audios together so for example um right here we got track two so that is so i've got my audio i've got my game i've got discord i've got music and i've got something else what i forgot but yeah i would recommend splitting them into tracks because let's say if you hit like this amazing clip on like battlefield or cod or something and then you have some kids screaming in background on discord then you can just mute that kid and then you can split it into mlg gameplay encoder i use a nvidia nvenc h.264 the only reason behind this is because it uses less resources than x264 also it provides better video quality unless you're using x264 slow this is a streaming PC. I can handle it. But the thing is, when I'm streaming, I want as less overhead as possible on my streaming rig. Rescout output, leave that beat. We will come back to that in the video tab. And then if we just scroll down right down to the bottom, you shall see rate control. So mine is currently on CQP. I'd recommend that. Basically, CQP stands for constant quality control. I don't know why the P is there. But yeah, basically... Let's say if you are recording at 25,000 bit, right? Every single image that you are currently recording will be at 25,000 bit, right? But this is amazing because basically it saves on file space. So for example, I'm recording my freaking desktop right now. So as there is basically no movement apart from Windows and the mouse, it will basically be recording at maybe like 6,000, 4,000 bit rate, but it would still look absolutely phenomenal. Basically, the quality looks the same if the image is still or if there's you're running through a forest. Basically, it saves on bit rate and it's absolutely amazing so the cq level that i keep it to is 25 the main reason behind this is because after youtube compression you cannot tell a difference between 1 and 25 maybe a tiny bit if you're uploading at 16k or 32k or whatever it would be but after the youtube compression you cannot tell one bit so frame rate uh interval keep that to zero you do not need it to be two or anything that's only if you're streaming but obviously recording you don't need to change it at all so keep that to zero uh preset i keep to quality because i've done very very many tests between quality and max quality and there is no difference apart from your graphics card heating up further profile i keep to high as that's the default so psycho visual tuning you can go on question mark if you'd like basically it tells you what exactly it's doing but if you are struggling to run your games and record at the same time turn them both off honestly doesn't make too much difference but as it's a dedicated stream pc why not turn it on you know gpu keep to zero unless you have sli and you want to use your second graphics card and max b frames use two as that's recommended for nvidia so audio go here and basically, I have all my tracks in. So I've got my microphone for my Elgato. 
my line in as that is basically the audio that goes into my gaming PC. If you are streaming from one PC, you will not need that. And for my mic free, then I use my Wavelink stream. Everything else is disabled as all I need is my microphone, my game audio, and that's normally like some music coming through the stream. Keep it to 48 kilohertz as that is recommended and it's actually default for OBS as well, as well as stereo. Keep everything else the same unless you want to do hotkeys but i don't understand hotkeys because why would you want to push the talk in a freaking video game you might as well have it in hotkeys so yes now we're going to go into video everybody so we're just going to click on there i keep my ba base canvas resolution to 1920 by 1080 i would recommend to put that whatever your current monitor is so on my stream pc my actual resolution is 1920 by 1080 so i keep it to that and as you can see on the output scaled resolutions as it says the scaled this is what you want to record in if we go back to the output you can see rescale output basically if you tick that box it will be rescaling it here and then it will be rescaling it again so basically it's rendering the video twice basically and you don't want that for literally no extra gain so basically keep that to whatever you want to record at i used to record in 720p if you want to record in that that's absolutely fine if you want to record in 4k that's absolutely fine as well but as i record in 1080p that is what i do so downscale filter right there i used to use the 36 samples but i changed back to bicubic as i did some tests and honestly it just looks better i have a 16 samples don't know how but it just does look better high numbers doesn't always mean better common fps values so i keep this to 60 frames a second just because i like my gameplay all silky smooth i used to stream in 30 fps 720p on twitch but as i have a more powerful computer now i was like why not go to 60 fps you know so yeah that is what i use 60 frames per second hotkeys literally do not use any of that because i have stuff on my um stream deck but i literally just have hotkeys of like going to another window like another scene and then advanced if you're struggling to run obs i would recommend to change your process priority and then you can just see it all down here so automatically reconnect that's amazing if your internet goes down it tries every 10 seconds and it tries 20 times and that's about it so as you can see this is all my windows if i just click on there then hi it's me and then my pc gaming hello it's me again but yeah that's about it thank you so much guys for watching my name is wool, wool sickness you guys mean absolutely awesome if you have any questions or anything please do leave it down below in the comments i have been using obs since 2013 so over eight years now i know quite a bit about it obviously there's people that know more about it but i know a hefty amount of information but yes once again guys thank you so much for watching my name is wool sickness you're going absolutely awesome Peace out, much love, and have a good one, guys. Stay safe.